Hey everybody, before we get started, I just want to remind you that this episode is brought to you by our patrons like Automus X and Bobby Meow. Thanks for your support, guys. If you like what we do and you want to see us do more, consider supporting us on Patreon. You can get access to episodes early and lots of other goodies. Thanks for your time. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's time once again to talk about Star Wars Legion by Fantasy Flight Games, not X-Wing. We've had a wealth of X-Wing videos over the last couple weeks, but it's time to talk about Legion again. Though, if, if you're interested in Wave 14 stuff or X-Wing 2nd Edition stuff, go ahead and check out those videos right there. I have a whole X-Wing playlist. Anyway, let's talk about Legion. So, uh, as kind of expected, since Snowtroopers and Veers are officially out, it's time to start rolling out preview articles on our next batch, which is Leia and Fleet Troopers. And today we're talking about Leia. They're still, uh, still hoping for that next block of, uh, of announcements for Imperial Special Forces, because I really hope they're Scout Troopers with Snipers, but... You know, I'll take whatever they give us. But anyway, enough about that. We're going to move right into the details that we know about Leia. So, Leia. Go ahead and got our lovely uh, image up at the double-sided card fan. And we can see now some, you know, some normal details about Leia. We had some mostly an idea before, but this is, confirms a lot of stuff. She's 90 points, one mini, obviously, because she's a commander. Six health, two courage, white defense die. She's got a surge to crit on offense and a defensive surge because there's the only one kind of result on defense dice. Decent spread. She has speed two. She's got two command upgrade slots and then a gear slot, same as Veers. And as far as we can tell, she's got the same upgrades too. So presumably she's going to have environmental gear because obviously that's the Legion design goal. And then she has uh, commanding presence. Esteemed leader? I think it's esteemed. Sorry, I don't have been using a lot of the cards lately. I need to do that again and maybe make another uh, TTS video. But anyway, let's talk about her keywords real quick. She's got take cover two as an action. Choose up to two friendly units at range one. Each chosen unit gains a dodge token. Yes, this applies to herself because it says a friendly, not, well, it says up to two friendly, but it doesn't say other friendly. Then she has inspire two at your rally step. Move up to two suppression tokens from other friendly units at range one to two. So when Leia activates and takes her rally step, she returns to suppression. Pretty good, though her courage is obviously only two, so it's not super great. Like, you can easily get hit a couple of times and and take that value. So that's a little riskier than, say, everybody's favorite gives no fucks Vader. But anyway, she has the nimble keyword, same as Rebel Trooper, so she regens dodge tokens. So using take cover on herself is very effective. And then she has Sharpshooter 2, while performing range attack to reduce the defender's cover by two. I believe the current way the rules reference guide is phrased, that means that she basically ignores all cover. I, I'm trying to remember, we've had some back and forth, like on the forums and stuff, about the exact order of operations. You can, like, add up cover, but then you also subtract the cover. I don't, I don't know. If anybody's got a, a, a clearer idea of how that works, go ahead and let me know. Anyway, yeah, really good. And then for attacks, she has a melee attack at three black dice martial arts. It's pretty good with their search. And then she has Leia's Defender Sporting Blaster, which is another three black dice at range one to two with Pierce one. So with, between Sharpshooter two and Pierce one, her range attacks are very accurate. She will be ignoring cover. She will, if she rolls a hit, at least be scratching, you know, one damage through. Very good at picking off one or two Stormtroopers, say. You know, decent uh, scratch damage kind of thing. Now, the main benef the main drawback, I should say, is that she's very short-ranged. It's a pistol, so it's only one to two, and then she's got her martial art, which is fairly decent, but it's, you know, melee, and it's not as good as a lightsaber, obviously. It's only three dice. So, like the fleet troopers are going to be coming out kind of around the same time, Leia's much better at closer up. But to facilitate that, she's got nimble. She can give herself, you know, a dodge token and give somebody else a dodge token with take cover, so you can easily, like, boom, take cover, and then pew, when you're set up to shoot, or you know, take cover yourself in a friendly and then scoot and then take a shot later. You know, lots of other things that are that are pretty useful. I will say with only the six health and the white defense die, that's a little squishy. You're really going to want to pop that take cover or take esteemed leader and give units around her because obviously you want to be fairly close. You know, take cover only works at range one. You know, give troopers around her the ability to take some of the heat for In return, if you can actually find the opportunity to shoot, like I said, she'll be pretty accurate. You'll ignore cover you will be able to do the pierce. Theoretically, on armored vehicles, you know, she'll be able to, to take a bit of a sweep and hope for crits, because you'll have a couple of possible crit options on three dice and a pierce. Or just, you know, fuck over her speeder bikes. Because, again, pierce and no cover. Let's talk about some of her command cards. So first, let's refresh everybody's memory. We have Coordinated Bombardment, which is Leia's one-pip card. They showed it again in the article. 
At the end of Leia Organa's activation, she'll perform up to three attacks against different enemy units using the following weapon. And she gets two red dice at four plus, which is immune to deflect. Also remember, sharpshooter is a unit keyword, which means she also ignores the hell out of cover with this attack, which makes sense. So this is a fairly useful card. It only activates Leia, but it's got high priority. And as soon as she's done activating, you get to drop, you know, three blocks of two red dice with a surge to crit, ignoring cover, immune to deflect. So if you've got a big fat Vader out there, you can, you know, even if he like went first and tokened up, you can try and hit him up pretty good. Great way to start engagements while you're still at long range. Or if you've like maneuvered Leia to one objective and then you can clearly see that there's, you know, other enemy units, at another objective you need to take, soften them up before you move over there. Very useful. Real key, I think, to Leia. But remember, that is still a form beyond. Anybody who's in three at all, if they've even got their little littlest toe in range three, you can't target them. That is, in fact, how that works. It has to be, they have to be fully at four or beyond. But like I said, with two red dice, very decent punch. Good way to soften up some enemies. With only max of two damage, probably not going to kill anybody. There's no impact on it either, so while you do have, you know, two chances to crit, it's probably not great against enemy armor. If you have nothing better to shoot at, want, I mean, there's still red dice, you know, take a swing. But you're going to probably be better off with dedicated anti-armor attacks. For her next command card, we have No Time for Sorrows. This was spoiled by some early releases that you saw pop up on, like, eBay and stuff. But basically, it's two troopers, which can include Leia. She is a trooper, obviously. But it can include others. This is her two pips. After, or rather, when a friendly trooper unit is issued an order, it may perform a speed one. So... Uh, Leia makes you scoot, which also I think really helps out her because we talked about how, you know, she really wants to take like that, take cover or even just a regular dodge, dodge action, would take, take cover. Assign went to her and then another friend at range one. That, you know, limits her action pool a little. This is, hey, drop no time for sorrows. Oh, well, I've just assigned you an order. Now you can at least move speed one. You can use this to, you know, shift friendly units that extra step into cover or shift Leia, of course. You can use it just to get a leg up on where you need to go, close objectives. All in all, very useful. Any sort of action efficiency is great. There's not really much else to say here. It's a very straightforward command card. You're probably going to use this one a decent amount. And then last but not least, in fact, kind of the most since it's her 3-pip, we have Somebody Has to Save Our Skins. So the, like I said, this is her 3-pip command card. It applies to Leia Organa and two units, 3-pip. After Leia Organa's activation, you may choose a friendly unit at range 1 to 2 with a face-up order token and activate it. So... This is a little technical, but I'll say it to you plain. After Leia takes her turn, does the whole thing, she activates, flips her tokens, does all her stuff. After that, you immediately pick a friendly unit who's at range 1 to 2 of you that has you have issued an order to. So there's two units you can do that to with this. They immediately activate. Your opponent doesn't go. You get a back-to-back -back activation. Now, obviously, because this is three pips, if your opponent can sense this coming, they'll probably play a one or two pip. They can easily squeak it in there, and they will probably get to go before you, but you will get two turns back to back, which can be very, very useful. It allows you to, like, pop Leia, pass out dodge tokens or whatever, you know, basically give everybody their efficiency, and then before anything else has a chance to happen, immediately capitalize on it. You can have her activate and remove suppression, because she's got that inspire. You know, take those tokens off, get everybody unsuppressed, get them ready to move, ready to book it. Because of this, I have joked that Leia's command cards are all gotta go fast. Because really... She is, I think, a mobility commander, almost. Like, Veers' command cards, obviously they both have an, a, an attack thing that was clearly like a thematic thing they were experimenting with for this set of commanders. I don't like to use Wave, because I feel like the way Legion is supposed to be coming out, we will almost always be looking at a an announced product that is coming out in a couple of months. So, like, while some things may have been clearly designed at the same time, that's going to probably get harder to separate out at some point. But Veers' command cards are about enhancing your Imperial efficiency in the sense that you need to utilize him basically to, you know, uh, maximize actions you have taken or will take, like evasive maneuvers. You can give two, two units dodge tokens that they can use in special ways. You're basically letting your vehicles activate better and be more efficient in a way they can't be normally. They can't, you probably can't spare the time to def defend them. Or at the very least with, like, speeder bikes, even if you have a free action because of the compulsory move, you're almost always using that to aim because you really want to maximize that offensive power power. And then Imperial Discipline lets you recover, which obviously, yeah, recover helps other ways, but the primary thing I think everybody wants Imperial Discipline to do is to untap their HH-12s so you can once again 
maximum firepower or maximize. Speaking of which, uh, in case you forgot, Veers only gets uh, one shot with maximum firepower, but it's four dice and it's impact two, so he can totally rain down fire on enemy armor. Leia is much more about mobility and just basically scooching. Uh, either you get to activate right after she goes, so you can basically go back to back and capitalize on that advantage, or you get to do a little speed one scoop right after she goes. Very efficient. Uh, very good for your rebel mobility, which you like. Rebels love to be in cover. Rebels love dodge tote. And even then, her coordinated bombardment is about, you know, multiple long-range attacks spread out to soften up multiple targets. You know, get your most efficient bang for your buck. All in all, very good commander. Also, uh, as somebody has pointed out, or several people have pointed out, I should say, She's quite good at synergy with Luke. Now, obviously, she's 90 points and Luke is, you know, his whole cost. So that's a lot of, a lot of change on your two commanders. But they do actually go pretty well because you can, you know, drop force reflexes off Luke and basically have them operate close to each other, throw around tokens. Luke is obviously a higher threat, so if you're, like, picking on Leia, that means you're not picking on maybe your best targets. She could theoretically let him scoot. He can, in turn, do his abilities, like, to pass dodge tokens to troopers. Very useful. Lots of lots of multiple action and tokens flying around then. Also, something I want to point out really quick here, just an art note. Kudos to FFG for doing this, but uh, if you look at Leia's command cards, you have basically three eras of Leia Organa. Coordinated Bombardment is Hoth, No Time for Sorrows is Endor, and then Somebody Has to Save Her Skins is on the Death Star. Basically, you get all three movies all at once, even though her sculpt is obviously a Endor sculpt. It's a really neat detail they added that they didn't necessarily have to. So that pretty soundly wraps up Leia Commander preview article and expansion pack. There's not really any new details because we know that Legion is aiming to be more single faction purchase friendly for upgrades, that she definitely has the same two command upgrades as Seeming Leader and Commanding Presence as Veers, and thus presumably has the same gear upgrade card, environmental gear. So, yeah, it's alright. Given that Leia is probably going to want to be able to use the most of her mobility when she has a chance to move. You're probably going to want to throw environmental gear on there. She's already pretty good. You know, you're not going to be taking a lot of aim actions for scopes, and grappling hooks is very situational. Until there are more command upgrades that we know about, you're almost always want to, going to want to probably slap, at the very least, a scene leader on there, and probably commanding present just for that extra scoot range. But yeah, that's the pack. Uh, hopefully, fleet troopers will come either next week or a couple weeks. We'll see, obviously, you know, a new video about it. I like Leia. She's a little she's a little squishy, but that's kind of what you get for those lower commander points. She's got real great keywords, though, wh quite quite a bit better. Maybe not way better, but noticeably better than Veers, and obviously that means more, despite the fact that he's got a red armor save. But very opening, I think, to Rebels. They noted that there's like a 70-point distance, which would be an entire Rebel Trooper squad with a Z6, right? That's a That's a huge amount of firepower investment that I'm sure Luke brings in his own way, but maybe not the same way you could bring with a Z6. So, as per the usual, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you have any comments about anything, how you're planning on using Leia, your thoughts about any of that, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. If you're new here and haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can get news right away when our videos come out. You can also support us on Patreon. You can get access to videos early, lots of other stuff. Actually, hey, I've got a question for you guys. Here's a great bit of feedback, you know, that audience interactivity everybody always tells me to have. Now, this would be a patron thing. So, because we on Patreon, we do other shows on the channel, podcasts and stuff, which have audio releases. We do the audio-only releases for a dollar a month because audio hosting is not free, so it's a thing. Would you guys be interested in audio-only versions of this that you can download? Because, obviously, I do show the visuals of the cards when we do these kinds of talks, but, you know, you could also just listen and look up the cards and stuff on your own because I tend to read out all the important bits. Just want to know your thoughts if you'd be interested in that sort of thing. These are tend to be shorter. It's not like I'm doing like an hour-long podcast here, apart from that one episode of X-Wing. So obviously this is probably isn't as harsh as like your mobile data or whatever. Anyway, just a food for thought. Also, uh, we have a merch store. I don't really plug that a lot in here, though, because we don't have anything, you know, Star Wars Elite specific. I'm sure I'll think of something at some point. So here we are. We're at the end. It's more Legion. You, know, you guys have your marching orders. I'll see you whenever there's more Legion news. And as always, thank you for your time.